Acupuncture has been an accepted medical treatment here in the West for a number of years. Now a Morrisville veterinarian has taken the ancient Chinese treatment to a whole new level. Alexi Rubenstein reports. It's 9 a.m. and Dr. Donald Thompson's first appointment has arrived. Teddy, an 11-year-old lab mix, suffers from kidney problems, a common ailment for older dogs. After getting over the initial jitters of being at the vet's office, Teddy is ready for his first acupuncture needle. Older animals can always use kidney support. These are kidney points. A few points for his hips. Older dogs are going to have hip pain almost, almost universally. Thompson, a Cornell University trained vet, added acupuncture and herbal treatments to his practice six years ago. I got um, frustrated with Western medicine offering band-aids on problems rather than curative, and that's where the uh, complementary medicine really comes in. Thompson recently completed his advanced level of veterinary acupuncture certification and is one of only a handful of vets practicing at his level across the country. While the efficacy of the treatment, even on humans, is still hotly debated among Western experts, Thompson says his colleagues in Vermont have, for the most part, been receptive. Unfortunately, ones that haven't taken the time to, to learn a bit about it can still view it as, as quackery. And uh, it just is not if they would take the time to, to learn a bit. Ones that accept the other options really, really uh, go along with it. And I've had referrals from many local veterinarians for my work. Half of Thompson's cases are house calls, including horses, dairy cows, and even llamas and alpacas. Down the road at the Kiwaden Dairy Farm, Moonshine the cow has a digestion problem. And with acupuncture, you're you never know at what depth you're going to uh, leave the needle. You're looking for a response from the animal to tell you they've felt. That's all it takes is that little jerk. Um, that they've felt the response uh, of the energy moving. And uh, that's called the duh chi response, the arrival of chi, the arrival of energy. Um, and it, to me, it feels like a very gentle jolt of an electric fence. Uh, some human patients will describe it feeling like pressure. Um, but that is the point at which it, it should be effective. And sometimes it's three inches, sometimes it's half an inch. After inserting the needles, Thompson warms them using a heat stick made of Chinese herbs. He's this been our vet for a long time, and he, when he started doing acupuncture, he did some treatments on some of our cows and it worked out pretty well for us. It's all in a day's work for Dr. Donald Thompson, who says it's all about using the ancient Chinese remedy to help his animal patients help themselves. Alexi Rubenstein, Channel 3 News, Morrisville. Wow. Yeah, very interesting. I can't imagine my little dog standing there, though, and <laughs> so letting patiently, that happen. Yeah. Yeah, nice dog. Hard to say. We got a quiet weather, weather streak ahead of us here. Yeah. So